in the year 45, 45. Ain't gonna need your teeth, won't need your eyes. You won't find a thing to chew. Nobody's gonna look at you. The Oculus Rift is a virtual reality head-mounted display with a number of features that work together to create the illusion that you're stepping into a virtual environment. There's been a lot of hype around the device, mainly due to its relatively low price, vision filling screen and low latency head tracking. We've managed to get our hands on a development kit of the Oculus Rift, and this video I'll show you what you can expect of the device. Inside the case there's the Rift itself along with three sets of lenses, a cleaning cloth and all the cables needed to connect the device to your PC. For anyone trying out the Rift for the first time, I'd highly recommend the tech demos Tuscany and Blocked In. Both involve no frantic motion or surprises, and they're a great way to ease into the virtual reality experience. Using the Rift is pretty simple, and it's just like putting on a ski mask. Unfortunately, there's no native support in Windows for the Rift just yet, so the normal PC environment just looks like a garbled mess. I found it best to load up a game, then put the Rift on once it's started up. Although the Rift consumer release is expected to be in full HD, the development kit runs at a native resolution of 1280 by 800 Because of this, there's a noticeable screen door effect, in which the individual pixels are clearly visible. After a few minutes though, I found that the low resolution didn't really impact too badly on the immersion effect. In particular, games with more chunky art design seem to work best. Although the screen isn't quite there yet, the head tracking is already incredible. After a bit of calibration, even the smallest head movements are tracked perfectly. It's possible to look up, down, left and right, and the head tilting is also tracked. Positional tracking, which would allow stuff like the height of your head to be tracked, is not yet featured in the Rift. However, this has been announced as a priority for the consumer release. Along with reducing the screen door effect, this will be one of the main things that will impact the immersion. The 3D effect provided by the Oculus Rift is far better than anything else that I've tried. The Rift's display totally fills the eye's vision, with the real world completely blocked out. Because of this, the 3D doesn't feel like a gimmick, but rather a natural part of the experience. The head tracking, 3D and vision filling display all combine to create an experience that has truly convinced me that virtual reality is the next step of video game technology. The Oculus Rift development kit is currently available to order from the official site for a very tempting $300. However, I'd really strongly recommend against buying the development kit unless you are a game developer. If you can wait for it, the consumer release is planned to cost the same amount, with an enhanced set of features. The screen will be a higher resolution, the head tracking ought to be improved, and there will be far more games that offer native support. I'm confident that the consumer release will have a far-reaching impact on the video game industry. While the Oculus Rift development kit isn't ready for a full release just yet, it has me totally convinced about the viability of virtual reality. Although there are a few minor problems, I'm pleased to say that realistic, immersive virtual reality is here, at an affordable price. Look out for some more videos about the Oculus Rift in the future, where I'll be looking at some of the best tech demos, games and experiences that are available for the device. Nobody's gonna look at you In the year 55, 55 Your arms 